Today we will create animations and story-based videos using tools like Runway Gen 3, LTX Studio, and Kling AI. So let's get started. The first AI tool we are looking at is Runway Gen 3 Alpha. After signing up on their website, you will land on the home page. Just click Get Started, and you will be taken to the main interface. At the top left, there are two key options, Gen 3 Alpha and Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. The main difference is that Gen 3 Alpha lets you generate videos from text, while Turbo allows you to use images. Also, Gen 3 Alpha uses more credits, while Turbo is more credit efficient. Let's start by exploring the image to video option by animating an image. In previous versions like Gen 2, we had to use brushes, but now with Turbo Alpha, it's as simple as uploading an image and entering a prompt. I will upload this image. But before you enter a prompt, you may refer to Runway's prompt guide for Gen 3, which offers helpful prompt keywords for camera styles, lighting styles, movement speeds, movement types, style and aesthetic, along with text styles. I will leave a link to the guide in the description. Once the image is uploaded, I will enter this prompt. A teddy bear merrily walking towards the camera. Then, set the duration to 10 seconds and hit generate. And here's the generated video. The result is smooth, natural animation with impressive character movements, without any distortion or morphing. But remember to include keywords like towards the camera, or you might get results like this. The next AI tool is LTX Studio. Just visit their website and sign up. It used to require a waitlist, but now it's open for everyone. On the home page, you will see three options to get started. You can write a prompt, enter a script if you already have one, or start from scratch. LTX Studio takes your idea and creates the script, voiceover, and the storyline. So, click on Write Prompt to enter your idea. I will enter this prompt. Once done, click Next, and it will generate characters based on the input. You can then choose an aspect ratio, and select a video style, whether it's cinematic, anime, or comic book. You can choose from about 52 different styles. I will choose the anime style. If you want a specific look for your video, you can upload an image to the style reference box, and the whole video will adopt that style. You can see the characters have changed to match this image, but it doesn't look quite right. So let's lower the style reference intensity and now the characters look much better. Once you are happy with how everything looks, just click Start to continue. LTX Studio will then generate a storyboard, breaking the story into scenes. For example, in scene one, it created a story and a voiceover, along with three images for each shot, with their prompts and shot types. To edit them, use the Shot Editor button against each shot, where you can adjust the prompt or change the shot type such as close-up, extreme close-up, medium shot, wide shot, etc. You can also modify the motion, camera angles, and keyframes. I won't go into the details here, but for a full tutorial on LTX Studio, you can watch this video. I will also include the link in the description. You can change the voiceover for the entire video from here. And once you are done, click the share button and then hit generate videos to create all the shots. After the video is generated, you can download it as an MP4 file by clicking here. If you'd like to preview it first, just click the preview button and play the video. Hi, I'm Sergeant Snuggles and I lead the best SWAT team in Cuddleville. It's a cozy town, but lately things have been a little chaotic. Raggedy Andy and his gang have been causing trouble, stealing candy and spreading mischief. I knew we had to do something. Overall, it's pretty good, considering I made it in just 5 minutes. With a little fine tuning on each shot, you can turn it into an amazing movie. The next tool is Kling AI. It has an AI image generator and an AI video generator. In the AI video, you will have access to text-to-video and image-to-video. 
I had a good experience with Kling AI before. But lately, when I try using the image to video feature, it gets stuck at 99% and won't finish. It's been like this for the past two days. So I will have to skip it for now. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and see you in the next video.